Oklahoma. No, where am I? I'm not in Oklahoma yet. Uh, Arkansas just keeps pulling me back. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just keep finding amazing, beautiful stuff. So this is a campground near Dierks. There's a dam and a lake, Dierks Lake. And uh, I'm not going to stay at another campground, but there's lots of, there's so much to explore. This state, so this is what I'm thinking. Um, I've been in the least populated states, right? Like Alaska and Montana. Well, oh, let's not include Alaska, Montana. Not very populated. Lots of open land, but most of it is private. A lot of it is private. Arkansas seems to have endless public land between national forest, state wildlife management areas, conservation corps, army corps of engineer. I, there is just, I cannot believe how much open land is here that it's not plastered with no trespassing signs. I mean, I could spend a whole year here exploring and I'm just looking at the forecast and it looks better. 50s during the day and 30s at night and sunny for the next seven or eight days. <laughs> so I need propane, which is about 20 miles away. So I came down here. I might not leave. We'll see. Look at that campsite right on the river. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And it doesn't have hook. Oh yeah, it does have hookups. Look at that. Look at, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the river over there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So I have a new way of traveling. Usually if I'm on a big road trip like this, it's like, okay, I want to go to Oklahoma City. So I just say, Google, navigate to Oklahoma City. And usually just go, it, generally the way Google tells me to go, you know, I might be like, yeah, instead of the interstate, I want to take this road, blah, blah, blah. What I'm doing now is I'm, I have a general direction. I know I want to go west, right? <laughs> and so rather than having Google guide me, which kind of causes me to kind of stay on that, I'm looking at the map and just going from point to point, literally. I'm like, okay, well, I need to take Highway 70 Northeast to Broken Bow. So that's it, you know, I'm, instead of like Oklahoma City being my destination, it's like, okay, let's head toward Broken Bow. And that just seems to be relaxing me in my travels a lot more. Navigating by the map, uh, manually the Google map rather than having Google say okay take a left here take a right here and just you know blindly following Google's instructions and I'm liking it I'm really liking it so every little every intersection I come to or every town it's like okay I'm in broken bow now which direction and that way it kind of also allows me to go with the flow and the scenery, whatever I'm seeing, if I'm bored, if I, okay, I've been driving through enough small towns, let's go to the interstate now. It allows me more flexibility and fluidity. I like it. I wouldn't have found this if I had let Google navigate me. So I gotta look at the map and I know the main road is back that way, but I might be able to take the scenic route. There are, uh, forest roads like for days so I am taking the scenic route back it's not like I have to be anywhere you know oh my gosh you know I can pull over whenever I need to work or eat or whatever so and I don't know where I was I don't even know what state I'm going to sleep in tonight and that's fine so uh I just was ready to move from that campground and I'm almost feeling like I'm not ready to stop yet, but man, if I find a good spot, why not? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Arkansas, man. <laughs> I, I think, you know, Michigan Upper Peninsula.
Peninsula this year was amazing. Arkansas, man, is like probably one of my favorite states now, at least this time of year. That's the other thing. You know, I can have favorite states, but it's going to vary depending on the time of year. So, Arkansas in the winter, the fall in the winter. Heck yeah. Not so much in the summer. Oh my gosh, there's a for sale sign. Oh, look at that road. See, if I had propane, I might be tempted to go explore that dirt road. Oh my god, and there's a real estate sign. Uh, but I don't even know. I should have checked my propane tank. I might have enough for another few nights, but um, I'd rather be filled up. Filled up. If I'm going to go exploring and find it, you know, if I go on a crazy road and I won't, don't want to have to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's just so many roads. This is killing me, man. So much exploring. has a track I, I googled tractor supply because usually tractor supply has propane but not always and I could have called ahead but I was heading this direction anyway and tractor supply doesn't have propane this is a town of 6,000 has a Walmart um, driving around I'm like somebody's got to have propane I found an RV repair shop and store and went in and I was like you guys have propane I knew they didn't but I didn't see it and they said there's no propane in town the next propane is uh, Broken Bow, which is where I'm headed, so I'm not sure how many miles away that is, but it's at least 20, so I'm not going to go there and turn around and come back. Hi! What's the, oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Do you have to poop? Do you have to poop? Do you have to go potty? Maybe? We've been out already. driving. Sadie and I are just going to go for a walk, cook a quick dinner, and relax before I uh, hit the road again tomorrow. Steam some cauliflower and my delicious yellow, cur no, uh, green curry lentils. 
and you throw it all together and that's dinner. Delicious! Okay, it was super windy that day. I probably should not have been driving in it. It was insane. There's a picture I think here somewhere. My wheel is almost turned 90 degrees. It was pretty crazy, but I, I just wanted to move on because I didn't want to sit in the wind either. So, and I just wanted to get out of Oklahoma. So I drove and drove and drove and drove and drove. yesterday afternoon I just spent the night in a, an empty parking lot of a, a store a, a store that's no longer open and uh, Tucumcari is pretty like there's a lot of things boarded up it's on route 66 I figured I'd get away with just spending the night in an empty parking lot and I did there was a little bit of activity in the middle of the night that looked like it might have been a drug deal who knows <laughs> but it was fine I'm waiting for some mail here. I happened to get here on a holiday and didn't realize it, so I, I have to stay an extra night. So I moved down the road to San Juan. You might remember I spent some time here several years ago on my way to um, Florida with my friend Bob. And that's where I'm camped. So I'm just going to stay here for a day or two and wait for my mail. This is a city park in San Juan, New Mexico, just east of Tucumcari, and they allow you to stay a night or two for free. It's a cute little town on Route 66. Can you see that? So that's something going up, spewing super black smoke. I can see it through the binocs. You're not gonna pick up anything on the camera. There's another one over there going down. So maybe it's just the way the sunset is hitting the, what's that stuff, the condensation that is coming out? It seems, yeah, it must be just the sunset. Seems very strange though. It really looks like it's spewing black smoke. There's that one and that one. Miss the sky. Can't really see the sky much when there's tons of trees. I do love the desert sky. Kind of miss trees. <laughs> so I'm starting to be able to see the tail of the first one that I saw. The tip of the tail is clear as it kind of like fades into the light. So yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you can see the tail now. So, uh, now I'm wondering, is it always that dirty and you just can't see it? <laughs> I mean, is that it? Is it? Is it dirty? Is it black? It's not white like we normally see. There it is. See? Now you can start to see the tail is white. The higher it gets. Weird, man. I thought maybe I seen a UFO. I'm in New Mexico.
Get it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I left Arkansas today. I have a lot more to come. Be sure to check to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel because YouTube unsubscribes people. Give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and be sure to click the bell to be notified so you never miss a thing. I post videos every single Thursday, every single Sunday. Been doing it for five and a half years, so if you're missing them, there's a reason. Check your notifications. I will see you soon. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon.